catchy phrase, endless discoveries, may be paying off for the state that introduced itself as a place with just that. It's all a part of a campaign that kicked off in January to spark interest in travelers and draw them here to Delaware. In this week's first look, we'll hear from Sussex County Rental Agencies, where the summer season is looking good so far. <music> It's just a matter of time when this boardwalk in Rehoboth, as all the others in Delaware, will be crowded with people from out of town. The hope for tourists to check out some of the state's endless discoveries. You can come here, you can have a vacation, you can also have education for your kids. Jack Lingo realtor Karen Falk says by the looks of beach rentals, the Delaware Tourism Office decision to reintroduce the state as a place with endless discoveries seemed to be paying off. The new campaign launched in January in a number of different markets. I think that they did a really good job in reaching out to the people throughout the state, um, various chambers of commerce. We, we knew about the Endless Discoveries campaign and we saw the commercial. We even posted it onto our own social media. Inside so I think they did a good job in telling us about voice. it. A voice that beckons to take time away. The commercial targets mostly women. Why? Traditionally, women normally take the lead in deciding on a vacation destination, according to tourism officials. That targeted audience may be the reason Coldwell Banker Realtors are seeing beach rentals fill up fast this year. Doing very, very well. Um, last two weeks of July, first two weeks of August are your typical busiest weeks. Um, pretty well booked on those. Uh, so we're just kind of looking to fill the shoulder weeks on each side of that now. but doing very well. It's a good season. Print advertisements have also been used in addition to the commercial to attract more vacationers both from neighboring states, the Northeast and Point South. Typically the the favorite states I like to say that come are Pennsylvania, uh, Maryland, Virginia, but we have people come as far away as California, Ohio, New York, the increase in New York um, from all over really. Jack Lingo Realtors report positive numbers possibly linked to the Endless Discoveries campaign as well. In fact, numbers are on the rise and slightly up from 2014. We generally go up every year between 3 and 5 percent. So right now, um, we seem to be going up when it comes to our rentals, people calling in, getting ready for the season. Every year, 7.3 million visitors make their way through Delaware. While the goal is to increase that number, one thing is certain. Travelers have plenty of beach rentals to choose from downstate, and we got a sneak peek inside a few of the houses. We handle over 500 rental properties, and uh, most of those are weekly, but we have weekly, seasonal, year-round. Um, a lot of our weekly owners, um, even seasonal owners, will go into wintertime. Whether you're interested in beachfront properties or something more inland, realtors say beach rentals are very popular even during the off-season, thanks to the endless discoveries found in Delaware. Some of my favorite endless discoveries, it's a well-kept secret, but it, the word's getting out that even our fall and winter seasons, it can be great here everywhere from nature to all the great award-winning festivals and events. However, some admit the beach is sort of hard to steer away from, especially as the summer season fast approaches. All three counties have some really great offerings when it comes to tourism. But one thing to keep in mind is that uh, you know, the beach is such a big draw. As far as the response to the commercial and ads promoting the state, tourism officials say people have been enthusiastic and excited to learn and see a side of Delaware they didn't know existed. We're really happy that those images are going around uh, this part of the country, northeast and you know, the mid-east area, um, to let people know that we're a great place to come visit year-round. Some of you at home may have seen some of the print ads which are running in national print magazines such as Oprah, Good Housekeeping, and Southern Living. As far as the commercial, that can be seen on Comcast TV channels in East Coast markets such as Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Richmond. And Michelle, I know that the commercials and the print ads have been running since January. Are there any other campaigns that are running now? 
Yes, actually, the Delaware Tourism Office recently kicked off one uh, in the mainline area, Philadelphia. The target is New Jersey vacationers. <laughs> They're trying to get them to see that Delaware beaches are appealing as well. Mm -hmm. And the, the, what's unique about this campaign, they're actually wrapping cars uh, in branded ads. Okay, so is the effort paying off? Uh, according to Linda Parkowski <laughs> of DTO, yes, there are. They're definitely paying off. In fact, uh, she says the most often, of the comment that they hear most often is, I do not know that's in Delaware. So it's paying off. Well, we definitely need to change that. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, Nichelle. And great time for this kind of story, especially with the weather finally warming up. We'll have another follow-up later in the summer.